you know, a lot of people were saying how easy I made Omega look, so I thought I'd show you what would happen if I didn't go in with any special setup. This is H.C. Bailey, and I'm dead playing Final Fantasy V! Hey, if dead guys can win elections, why can't they entertain you with Let's Play videos? Now that actually shouldn't work, but yeah, because she has the, uh, uh what is that thing called? Uh, the Aegis Shield equipped, so that'll protect her. Won't protect her against that, though. Let's see, what do I do about this? Uh, cure three on everyone? Sure. Oh, wait, Ferris has the Bone Mail equipped. Crap. Oh, that didn't work at all. Uh, I can't use Phoenix. Uh, Bahamut, maybe that'll pierce defense or something. Yeah, I thought I'd show you some of the attacks Omega can do, so that way... You know, if you want to make your own setup to fight Omega, you can. Ow. Yeah, Circle removes you from battle. This is why you want Flame Rings equipped. Yeah. That's not happening, viewers. Okay, well, let me uh, adjust my setup and uh, go back to my file after I had defeated Omega and figure out where to go next. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. I made my setup the way it was before. The only thing I changed was that I get equipped parts with X-Fight because a lot of the enemies here are starting to get really high levels and really high magic evade. So uh, Slash really isn't working as effectively as I would like. And I need to be able to actually hit my enemies. So X-Fight, that's the way to go now. Huh, Omega, huh. And Shinru? Whoa. Yeah, you need to have a chicken knife to deal with those guys. Wonder why they didn't bother taking over the world. What does this mean? Huh. I guess we'll find out later. We've already dealt with Mega Flare. Now, I want to equip parts with the Artemis bow. There we go. How to sell insurance. You should have bought my insurance package! Why is everyone here trying to sell me insurance? Anyway, here is a panda. It is a creature type monster, so the Artemis bow will always critical hit on him. So that's pretty good. And everyone else is the same as before. Oh, I wish you had uh, used that on Ferris there so you could have reverse drained yourself. <laughs> Okay, well, let's try to summon Ifrit on this guy. I believe something special happens if you use Ifrit. I mean, a panda is susceptible to fire in general. There we go. It confused itself somehow. I don't know. Or it keeps it from attacking us for a while. Well, that's weird. Ha <laughs> ha! That's what I wanted to see. Yeah, I could equip X-Fight on just about anyone I want, really, or with any job class I want, but I still think even the Archer is best for that, really. Uh-oh. Unless he's dead, that would be a problem. Not too... Oh, there we go. Yeah. Not too much HP on that guy. So we killed a panda. You murderer! Now they're extinct. What are you going to do now, guys? Let's see, if I'm not mistaken... Yes, we are in the next area, the castle part of the void. So I want to heal up and switch my weapons around. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. We've got these hidden passages in the sky, apparently. Well, maybe they're not so hidden, but... Uh oh we got an Avis-type monster. We want the Avis Killer Bow, so let's use X-Fight with that. I love being able to critical hit with X-Fight. With the running shoes and everything. A lot of the enemies are starting to get really high of aid, so, I mean, even Ferris may have a hard time hitting it. Uh, Avis Dragon is also uh, immune to gravity, immune to death, so we can't kill it that way. We just gotta do it the old-fashioned way. Shooting it through the heart. Just like that guy in, uh, uh, what was it? One of those Lord of the Rings movies. The guy that can shoot the arrows over and over again real fast. 
I only really saw the first one all the way through. Just too damn long. It, I just can't keep my attention span up that long, viewers. I'm sorry. We got a ninja here who is not immune to gravity. They are susceptible to... Uh, what is it? Level 4 quarter. So I want to use that as soon as Kara gets to turn one of these damn days. Yeah, that's, that is the problem with X-Fight. You can't really target with it. That's why I haven't been using it up to now. But, unfortunately, I really don't have much of a choice anymore. So, let's get level 4 quarter in there. Yeah, that's the way to go. Well, now it's almost dead anyway, but yeah. Once the ninja's gone, then one more X-Fight ought to do the trick. Come on, Ferris. There you go. I knew you could do it. But yeah, after seeing the first Lord of the Rings movie, I, I just couldn't take it anymore. It's like, oh, we failed. Darn. What the hell kind of ending is that? I mean, I know you're planning sequels in advance, but I, I just couldn't take that. You gotta make the movie stand on its own. Uh-oh. Well, there's no secret passages off those ledges. One nice thing about how X-Fight works in Final Fantasy VI is that when an enemy is already dead, X-Fight will stop targeting them. It won't, like, keep on hitting them over and over and over again, even though they're dead. They're, it won't beat a dead horse, essentially. Nothing up that center path, or this... What's the opposite of an armory where you have weapons? Like, an armory is where you have armor, and, uh, what, what do you call a place where you have weapons? I don't know. Well, we get Thor's hammer. Not nearly as useful as it was in Final Fantasy 1, but... Even the White Wizard can't equip it. Oh, there's the armory. Let's see what we got over here. Ah, there we go. Running shoes. Thanks, programmers. Thanks for not giving that to me earlier. Do I have the Yoichi bow equipped? There's no more dragons in here, so... Or those Avis dragons. But we do have some other new enemies. Deathclaw, they are susceptible to level 3 flare. And Sword Dancer is susceptible to level 3 flare. Uh, in fact, I think that'll pretty much kill just about anyone who it hits. I think. Just gotta get to her turn, that is. Forget X, fight. There's too many enemies. That's okay. Just let Kara go. Uh, I think the Sword Dancers can use zombie powder on you or something to turn you into a zombie. Which... Obviously wouldn't be good, so... Well, killed almost all of them. Get him, Ferris! Yeah, if you didn't learn Deathclaw, I think you have to wait all the way until now to get it. So, yeah. That's why I wanted to get it earlier. Yay! Alright, well now I've got some healing to do and a lot of bosses down here. So I'll be right back. All right, we're all set and ready to go. Let's talk to this guy first. No! Oh, well, screw you. No, no, we gotta talk to him and say yes. I see. Oh, crap. It's like the last thing he said, except you die. Okay, well, first thing we want to do against this guy is X-Fight. This guy has a lot of the blue magic spells, so if you haven't learned it, you could probably learn it from this guy at some point in time. Yeah, like, guard out there. But do not cast level 3 flare on him. It'll work, but he will actually learn level 3 flare and then start casting it on you. I actually don't care to take advantage of that. You know what? Actually, I will do that because um, I'm not a level of multiple of 3. So, you know, I don't care. We're all at level 35, 37. So we should be fine. That'll change his AI script now and he'll start casting level 3 flare on us. Well, he could start casting level 3 flare on us, is what I meant to say. Wow, I'm getting a lot of critical hits with that thing. I'm on the Yoichibo, right? Yeah, I am. I just got three lucky critical hits there. Man, X-Fighter on an archer with the running shoes. Oh, baby, that's the way to go! Yeah! 
Get him, Barts. I could also use Bio on him, because I believe he's susceptible to poison, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's pretty good. Got him. All right. get for defeating him? Some ability points. Uh-oh. He's a load-bearing boss! No, no, it just has a save point here, which I'm going to use and prepare for the other bosses next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy V! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.